All right, today we're talking about basic guitar body styles and pickups and kind of demoing each one and like sound samples of each one. Uh, I don't have access to every type of guitar. I mean, actually, I guess if I asked enough people, I could probably beg, borrow, and steal enough guitars, but I already did that. Oh, they're over there. I already did that with uh, with these. And so we'll cover some of the major types uh, with sounds. I'll at least show some pictures of the other ones that we don't get to cover. So uh, here we go. This is a guitar. Didn't somebody famous say that or something? This is a Telecaster. We'll start with this one because it's arguably the most basic of guitars or a Tele. Uh, what defines a Telecaster is arguable at this point, but I, th I would say that most of it is the body style and shape. This shape of guitar uh, is a Telecaster shape. Uh, it usually has two what's called single coil pickups in it. They look like this, and then a selector that goes three ways that selects those, and then a volume knob and a tone knob. And so again, just the basic parts of the guitar. Um, you've got the body, just kind of the shape that kind of defines the style. Uh, obviously has a neck with frets, uh, has uh, little tuning pegs to put it in tune, has an input where you plug a chord in so that you can actually hear the guitar. Um, this is a volume knob. It controls the overall volume of the level. This one's a tone knob, which makes it brighter and darker. And then you've got a little pickup selector switch. So when it's in the back, it's just this pickup, the bridge pickup. In the middle, you're hearing both. In the front, you're just hearing the front one. Then as far as the sounds go of this guitar, this guitar, traditional Telecaster, has single coil pickups. They are, uh, you might say, bright or um, jangly or clean. Um, in any case, this is what the bridge pickup on a Telecaster sounds like. So you can hear the brightness middle. The neck pickup. And then the tone knob, just so you can hear how it makes things brighter and darker. Telecaster. This guitar is a Stratocaster or a Strat. Again, I would say what defines a Strat is the shape. The shape of the body is different than the other ones. Of course, it also has tuning pegs to stay in tune, has a neck with frets, the body itself, um, the uh, little input jacks in a little bit of a different place. Traditionally, a Strat also has single coil pickups uh, right here, the, so uh, very similar adjectives could apply. Uh, to the Telecaster, or as with the Telecaster, kind of like bright, clear, articulate. Um, some people might say bluesy, depending on things. But the whole point of this is so you can hear the differences and you can decide for yourself kind of the differences in what they sound like. Uh, so this is the bridge pickup on a Strat. This Strat, anyway. All pickups are different. So there's that. There's a lot of variables. <laughs> Middle pickup, neck, now the Strat, arguably there's a couple sounds in the Strat that are very unique to a Strat, um, and this would be position two, or f two and four, and they're kind of like, you'd call them maybe quackier uh, sounds, and you'll know why in a second. This is position two, which is these two pickups here. Position four. Back to two. Just 
just so you can hear the tone knobs again in action. That's a strap. This isn't mine either. Uh, my friend Todd, who doesn't even play guitar, just decided he wanted to build a guitar one day and he built this. Not bad. Way to go, Todd. This is a Gretsch. This one is, there's about half a million models of Gretsches. <laughs> so this one is called a 5422. Um, Gretsches are, there's, like I said, there's so many different kinds. Um, traditionally, maybe a lot of Gretsches are more this style uh, where it's uh, either completely hollow inside that's what these F holes, they're called F holes because they're shaped like Fs. And uh, they're either completely hollow inside or they're what's called semi-hollow and they have like a block supporting inside there. Um, this one looks like it's completely hollow or close to it. Uh, that affects the sound a little bit. Um, you can find other guitars that are semi-hollow. There's uh, Telecasters, uh, they're called a uh, thin line, I think, that has, they have an F hole in them and they're partially hollow. Changes the sound a little bit. The pickups traditionally found in a Gretsch guitar is what's called a filter tron. Um, and there's a bunch of different versions of those as well, but they look like this. Um, a little bit more aggressive maybe, um, still pretty clear. Maybe jangly is a term you might use for some of them. Uh, the controls on a Gretsch are a little bit different. A lot of them have the pickup selector up here instead. It's still a three-way switch like a Telecaster. So down would be the back pickup. The middle would be both together and then up, up top here would be the neck. Um, and then this is kind of the master volume right here. Um, there's a master tone control right here toward the bottom here. And these two are like, I think volume controls for each pickup. This is volume for the back, volume for the front. Uh, I'm not a Gretsch expert, so I don't actually know why people use those or would use them, why they would change them. I suppose you can change the balance of the pickups um, in you know, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, maybe to suit your rig, I don't know. Tuners, neck, body style, input. This one has what's called a Bigsby, which is a, a little arm that you can press on, and I'll show you kind of what that sounds like um, after all the things, but. Uh, and a big thanks to Tad for loaning me this guitar because this is not my guitar either. I only own like one guitar, so. All right, here's the bridge pickup on a Gretsch. <laughs> Middle position, neck, volume, master tone. And the two pickup volumes. And then the Bigs Beast, so you can see what that sounds like. Can be really subtle to really pronounce just depending on how hard you dive bomb the arm. But it can create some really cool sounds. Uh, so that's a Gretsch. Like I said, they make uh, hollow, semi-hollow. They actually make solid body guitars as well, like the Telecaster and the Strat. Uh, so that is what a Gretsch sounds like. All right, it's also worth mentioning that um, almost anything on a guitar can be changed to something else. And so that's why to me these days, uh, what defines a type of guitar is more about the body style than anything else. And I guess you could add the word traditional to it to kind of make that happen. So the, the Telecaster over there is right there. Where is it? It's hard to point the other direction. There it is. That's a traditional Telecaster because it's a Telecaster for sure because of the shape, but it's traditional because it's got um, two single coil pickups in it. This is a further over yeah. traditional Strat. 
same reason. Uh, the shape makes it a strat and then the three pickups that are single coils kind of make it a traditional strat. But you can change pickups on any kind of guitar, um, especially if you customize one, you can do whatever you want. So for me, uh, I'm super partial to the Telecaster body style. This is my guitar, um, my main guitar kind of for everything. I'm super partial to this body style. I love um, the solid body guitar. I love the shape of this. It's always, it's the first guitar I ever had was a Telecaster. Uh, it's the most comfortable in my hands. And so kind of when it came to uh, getting its guitar built, this is from a custom guitar company called TMG, which are, they are awesome. I highly recommend them. Um, and then when you kind of can customize everything to your, your preferences, then you can change anything you want around. This Telecaster um, has a, a one pickup we haven't covered yet called a humbucker, uh, which is basically two single coils put together. And the name actually comes from uh, most single coil pickups have kind of a hum that goes with them. When you plug them in, it's called like a 60 cycle hum. And it's just something unique to a lot of single coil pickups. I don't know if any hum will translate through here. Power's pretty isolated here, so it seems like it's gonna be okay. But um, a humbucker will buck the hum, if that makes sense. So because there's two of them together, it'll kind of cancel out the hum. A uh, humbucker is a uh, traditionally more aggressive sounding uh, pickup than a single coil is, or than a filter tron. Um, some people prefer that. Um, another type of guitar we'll cover in a minute called a Les Paul. Traditionally, I don't have one of those. I do have a friend that has one, but I didn't borrow it. So I'll show you a picture of that. Um, slightly different controls, but traditionally that guitar comes with a humbucker in it. I really like the sound of a humbucker, especially in the bridge. So this is a traditional telly by all means because of the fact that it is shaped like one. Um, it has two pickups, the standard three-way selector, volume and tone. I love the simplicity of that. It makes me happy. I don't like too many options. Um, and you can cover a lot of ground with the Telecaster. But as you can see, I had this one made with humbucker spots in it because I love a humbucker here. And then this one uh, is interesting because it's it's routed for a humbucker, which is a bigger pickup. But this, get, this pickup is actually a single coil. Um, it's just a big single coil. And the only difference in that is just that it can't, the spot can hold uh, a, a bigger type of pickup instead. Um, so humbucker bridge, single coil neck, you can get almost anything. You can get a humbucker that is small, like a single coil. You can get a single coil that's big, like a humbucker. Uh, the options are limitless. I like the Bigsby idea, like what was on the Gretsch. So I had them put one of those on here because I like that option. Uh, input jack still in the same place down here. This is what a humbucker sounds like. Uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> aggressive middle position neck big speed and then the uh, tone control Lots of options there so when you get to like combining pickups and stuff like that's kind of down the road and like you wouldn't really know so I would recommend kind of as a beginning point just kind of pick which one sounds you know the best to you a couple guitars that I don't have personally that uh, I can put some pictures up uh, a Les Paul looks like this um, it's like I said traditionally got humbucker pickups in it it has more controls there's a volume and tone I believe there's four knobs uh, a volume and tone for each of the two pickups and then a three-way selector kind of up here I think like a like a Gretsch pretty much um, Those guitars are they're like a little more compact usually they're also heavier uh, They're usually made out of different wood and so that's a consideration the Les Paul body style is kind of same thing It's kind of what defines a Les Paul and then much like the Gretsch instead of the tuners being in one line like on a telly and a Strat they're three and three, more like an acoustic guitar. I don't know if you can see that one up there behind me, over there. But it's like it's kind of like that. So that's kind of a preference thing. 
uh, whatever, uh, a look and feel thing. Uh, offset guitars, uh, the body's kind of offset, so they kind of stick out one way or another. Um, good examples of that would be a uh, Jazzmaster, which looks like that, um, a Jaguar, which looks like that. Uh, they're kind of offset. There's a bunch of other ones. There's like a, you could look at like an Explorer, like the Edge used to play, or like a Firebird, uh, stuff like that. And those guitars all have different types of pickups in them. Uh, the one probably major one worth mentioning that I haven't is called a P90. Uh, my friend Lee calls that, says it sounds like a pissed off single coil, which is pretty accurate. Like, so where a single coil is clean and a humbucker is like a lot more uh, aggressive, a P90 kind of sits somewhere between those, but all the pickups are so different. Like every manufacturer is different or whatever. And to me, again, that reiterates the need to uh, go play guitars. Like if you're trying to think of one and you hear all the sounds um, together, then like you kind of want to uh, just go play them and see how they sound to you and see which one like resonates the most to you. Or hopefully this will be a little bit of a helpful to be like, well, I kind of like the vibe of this one over that. Some of it depends on context, like the type of music you play. Um, but with the differences in pickups and if you're going to be using pedals and uh, an amp, you know, that's more aggressive or not, all that's going to make a bigger difference in your sound, I think, than uh, kind of the baseline starting point. So it's kind of whichever one like resonates with you and, and uh, that you personally kind of connect with the sound of it the most, uh, given your context and everything else. So hopefully that's helpful. I'll just drop my pick. Hopefully that's a helpful uh, kind of demo of you know, the basic kinds and the types of pickups and everything. And uh, so, yeah, hope that helps you and uh, see you later.